So today we are at the St. Denis National Wildlife Area, which is about 40 kilometers east of Saskatoon. We're in the Aspen Parkland ecoregion of Saskatchewan, which is a region characterized by a mixture of grasses and uh, aspen bluffs. And so if you look around the landscape here, you'll see that we have a variety of grasses here behind us. Looking off, you can see that there are uh, stands of mixtures of uh, aspen, uh, poplar, balsam poplar, and willow stands down in the lower landscape positions. And the area where we're standing right now was seeded back to grassland in 2004. The St. Denis National Wildlife Area was uh, purchased, became Crown Land in 1967. And so at that time, uh, a good portion of it continued to be managed as a, under agricultural land use. And then uh, the wetlands were all returned to their native vegetation at that time. So right where we are was actually cultivated right up until 2004, and it was planted to a mixture of grasses and forbs, so including things like clover and alfalfa, mixture of different grass species. We can, when we look around at the landscape, we can see that uh, that this is actually a, the parent material of the of this for this landscape is glacial till, and the way that we can tell that is just by the surface expression of the landscape primarily. It's a bit of an undulating landscape, so characterized by the highs and lows, a little bit more rolling than a lot of people necessarily think of when they think about the Saskatchewan landscape, and so. Uh, typically glacial till, that's the material that's deposited as a glacier retreats and so it's poorly sorted material, a mixture of different, uh, different sizes of separate sand, silt and clay and then intermingled into that there's a whole bunch of stones and whatnot just held within the matrix. It's not sorted the way some of the other parent materials are. And so when it's deposited we tend to see this rolling uh, landscape just based on part of that arises when the as the glacier retreats there's chunks of ice left in with the sediment that's deposited by the glacier and as those big chunks of ice melt there's there can be collapses and that forms sort of the lower lying landscape positions within that so this particular landscape in addition to having the uh, to being a glacial till landscape as you can tell by the the, the hummocky surface expression is also a uh, also has a bit of a lacustrine cap over top of it. So as the glacier retreats, it also deposits. Uh, there was there was at one point a, a glacial lake uh, dammed by the, the glacier itself, and so that deposited some more f finely sorted, some more well sorted material on top of the glacial till, and so that would be the more silty material that was deposited in a layer on top of that. And so in the lower lying landscape positions within here, not at this position in particular, but in, the, in some of the other positions that we've looked at at this site, there's silty, uh, silty deposits.